Hello everyone, it's Mr. Wolf here and in this video I'm going to be uh, modeling the thinking through the first level 2 problem where a train car with a mass of 500 kilograms is traveling to the right with a velocity of 7.5 meters per second before colliding and coupling itself. So right away I'm going to start drawing and labeling a diagram of the situation. It looks like we have this 500 kilogram train car. All right. It's traveling to the right with a velocity of 7.5 meters per second and before colliding and coupling itself to a 600 stationary car. So we have this other car over here. It's got more mass, so 600 kilograms, but it's stationary, which means it's at zero meters per second. All right, so that's kind of the before situation. And then we know they're gonna collide, right? So afterwards, all right, so I don't know, somewhere I could label here before, even if it's up top, I know there's not a lot of room. And then right here after, right, uh, before coupling, so they stick together. Um, so after a collide, it looks like they stick together. And so the question is, that, all right, so what velocity are they going to have together? So here's the 500 kilogram car, and it's essentially just stuck to the 600 kilogram car. And what we want to know is what's their final velocity? Right. And the diagram really, really helps uh, just kind of organize all this information, especially with a before and after situation. Um, so for this, you know, we have mass A, mass B. We could also think of this as mass 1, mass 2. Um, so mass 1 or mass A, we could say is, you know, 500 kilograms. Mass 2 is 600 kilograms. The initial velocity of, uh, of mass of A or mass 1 is 7.5 meters per second. And for mass two or mass B, it's stationary, so zero meters per second. And it's not like we're trying to look for like two different velocities here for the final velocity because they're stuck together, right? This is the same velocity we're looking for, okay? So we could say like final velocity question mark for both of these, all right? Now, we're gonna use this diagram to build an equation to eventually solve for this final velocity. So something I wanna kind of be aware of is you know, is, are they are there separate momentum or stuck together at any point, all right? So how will you represent this in the equation? So here they're separate, but since this is an inelastic equation where they're stuck afterwards, um, I'm gonna definitely incorporate this somewhere in my equation where my masses are together and they have the same velocity, all right? Now, and it's gonna be towards the end. So to write my equation, right, we know that the total momentum before is equal to the total momentum afterwards. So I'm going to add up my momentums before and my objects are separate. So it's going to be, you know, mass A and the velocity of mass A initially plus mass B or mass 2 and has a velocity initially. And then so this is the before and then afterwards they stick together. So I'm just going to do mass A plus mass B and then their velocity afterwards, final. All right, so there's my equation. Right? I've used this diagram to help set this up. All right. So now it's just, let's try to match our variables correctly. So I have my mass A is 500 kilograms. The initial velocity is 7.5 meters per second plus 600 kilograms, which is, and it's stationary, and then the masses are together afterwards, so 500 plus 600, and then I'm solving for that final velocity, all right? So when we start to multiply these together, so we multiply these together first, multiply these together, although it would just be zero, we would end up getting, the math on this, 3,750 plus zero is gonna be equal to 500 plus 600 is 1,100 times the final velocity, and when we do the math on this, we're gonna get a final velocity of 3.41, and notice that it's positive in the calculator, which means that it's going to the right, which conceptually makes sense, right? This object, this car runs into this one, it would make sense that they would also continue going to the right, right? At a slower velocity, because there's just more mass here. So for that final answer, I'm gonna say that my final velocity is equal to 3.41 meters per second, I could either put a positive here or I could draw an arrow going to the right. Either one works. You don't have to do both. And that's my final answer. All right. Thanks for watching.